Welcome to lesson 132 of EFT Tapping with the Course in Miracles workbook. You can watch lesson one for a full breakdown of this whole process. So lesson 132, I loose the world from all I thought it was. Uh, these next couple and, you know, this one are, are quite dense for sure. Definitely read them or reread them, I would suggest, before, before doing the tapping. But, you know, still do it if, if you don't have, if you didn't have a chance, it's okay. So, side of the hand, repeating after me. Even though I hold many beliefs about this world, that according to this lesson, make it real. And this might be very hard to grasp. I choose to accept myself as best I can. And I loose the world from all I thought it was. Even though this idea that there is no world, that I am seeing an out projection. can be very confusing, impossible for our uh, regular thinking to grasp, and an easy place to misinterpret, I choose to honor myself right where I'm at. And I loose the world from all I thought it was. Even though I believe this world is real, I may not even be able to grasp what it could mean that it's not real. when I'm literally looking at it right now. But I choose to open my mind that I may directly perceive and not let this be a philosophical debate. I loose the world from all I thought it was. Okay, through the points now. I loose the world from all I thought it was. Belief is powerful indeed. The thoughts you hold are mighty. A madman thinks the world he sees is real. Does not doubt it. nor can he be swayed by questioning his thoughts' effects. Only when the source is raised to question, the hope of freedom comes to him. Anyone is free to change their mind. Now the source of thought has shifted. You free the past from what you thought before. You free the future from all ancient thoughts of seeking. Seeking what you do not want to find. The present now remains the only time. Here in the present is the world set free. I choose to be more and more open to the present. You have enslaved the world with all your fears, doubts, and miseries. 
the world is nothing in itself. Your mind must give it meaning. What you behold upon it are your wishes acted out so you can look on them and make them real. And then processing all the ways that sentence is landing. That I am seeing my wishes acted out. Any guilt or disbelief. Any confusion or fear. Perhaps you think you did not make the world, that it was already made, waiting for you. Yet in truth, you found exactly what you looked for when you came. Change your mind on what you, see, what you want to see. And all the world must change accordingly. It is not pride which tells you you made the world. It is pride that argues. You have come into a world separate from yourself. There is no world. And all the doubts and confusion that arise here. There is no world. Processing my reactions to this. Not everyone is ready to accept it. Each one must go as far as he can let himself. I choose to let go of some more resistance to going further. Healing is the gift of those who are prepared to learn there is no world and can accept the lesson now. Allowing myself to let go with more resistance to learning this now. Some will find this truth in this course and in the exercises that we do today. I choose to open to being one of those people today. You are as God created you. The sick are healed as you let go of all thoughts of sickness. There is no world apart from your ideas. Because ideas leave not their source. Release the world. Today our purpose is to free the world from all the idle thoughts we ever held about it. For 15 minutes, twice today, I will say, I who remain as God created me, would loose the world from all I thought it was. For I am real because the world is not. And I would know my own reality. Then merely rest, alert with no strain. Let your mind be changed in quiet. The world may be freed along with you. 
and throughout the day repeat. Whenever you are tempted by saying the following, I loose the world from all I thought it was and choose my own reality instead. Okay, take a breath. All right, very deep, right? I hope this helps you. I'm very curious about um, your thoughts and experiences dealing with some of these particular lessons that go into, you know, there is no world, what that might bring up. And um, yeah, for me, it's all about really trying to practice this and not, it's so easy. I think an older version of myself would have like wanted to discuss this and debate this. And it's like, this is not philosophy class for me. This is just something that I'm drawn to as a practice to look to see more and more of the truth in. So how's it going for you? All right, I will see you next, hopefully, on lesson 133. Take care.